Hi, I'm Rebecca Vieira. And I am Christian Vieira. And together in collaboration with some friends from Uruguay and France, we wrote the article, Turn Your Smartphone Into a Science Laboratory. And so it really doesn't matter if you or your students happen to have an iOS device. Or an Android device. There's loads of different types of science research and inquiry-based laboratory experiences you can have your students do with the internal sensors. And so in this article, we present five different ways that you can use the accelerometer, which is going to be present in all smartphones, regardless of the type or the, the make or the brand, um, to do some science activities to learn about force and motion. So again, we've got five different activities in there. We have students measure acceleration due to gravity at their homes in their bedrooms or on sofas by dropping their device. Students can discover the relationship between net force and motion in an elevator. They can attach their phone to an Atwood machine to learn about Newton's second law or even derive it themselves. And that idea is presented by our friends Martin Montero and Arturo Marti from Uruguay. And then um, for the fourth activity, students actually measure the centripetal acceleration of a spin. In my particular case, I even had some dance students who did, the, in, who did it in a studio. And so for our last activity, we've got our friend from Lyon, France, who created an activity for students to determine the actual location of the accelerometer inside of the hardware. And so we'll let him take it away and share that activity with you in detail. Hi, I'm Philippe Jean Jacquet. I'm a French teacher of physics and chemistry and I teach for Terminal S, which is K-12 in uh, America. Today I will show you an activity uh, with a smartphone. So what do you need for this activity? You need here a record player. Of course you need a smartphone with inside, I sh will show you later, uh, application sensor kinetics. Here a piece of paper you see with some kind of frame which corresponds to the smartphone here a ruler, a compass here, a rule here, a pencil here. And for this you have to use the uh, properties of the uh, circular motion. And for the properties about the circular motion uh, when it is uniform. When it is uniform, the acceleration, the radial acceleration is equal to V square divided by R. So it means also that here the acceleration here is equal to 2 times p times f, all of that is square, times r. We know f because f is the speed of rotation of the smartphone. It's 33 turns per minute. So if you divide by 60, you have f is 0.55 hertz. And we will measure a with the smartphone. And I will show you that now. For measuring a, you have to take the piece of paper here like this. You have to put the smartphone there, here, and here you have to start here the application which measure the acceleration. You start here and you turn like this, here. So you see here the smartphone is turning at 33 turn per minute. The acceleration is recording. I will stop it. I stop that. And now I can measure the acceleration on the x and y axis. With the formula uh, about the trigonometry, about the Pythagoras, sorry, you can get the acceleration on the radial angle. So with the acceleration, you can get also on the frequency, you can get air. And with the ruler here, you can, so I prepared before, you can get here the circle, so from the center of the, of the record player, to the place here where there is, could be, the uh, the accelerometers. Now, to finish that, you have to do it again with the other here. I'll put the smartphone like this here. You see here, like that here. So you do it again. Turn again the smartphone. Record again. Measure again a, and then you get also here. So I use here this. I did it already. You get also here the circle there from this point here. So the intersection of the two circles gives exactly the place of the accelerometer. And you can compare the position with the map that you can see on the internet of this kind of phone. And it works with every kind of phone. If you want to get more about this activity, please read the articles or also you can also go on, go on this website, sorry, to get the paper of this activity for your class. 
Thank you, goodbye.